Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest video. I'm Ross Miriam. Today I am playing a deck I have wanted to play for a little while now because it is super sweet. Uh, the original list, I believe, is from the recent French Modern Grand Prix. This is an updated list that 5 Little League recently on Magic Online. It is a five-color Soul Flare deck. Um, unfortunately, Soul Flare is not in our hand. It makes it harder to explain, but essentially it is a delve creature that gains the abilities of all the cards that you delve away with it. So we've got these really powerful but expensive creatures that we can delve away and make a soul flare that is incredibly powerful for two mana, which is super sweet. Um, and then some other graveyard chain in against Lingering Souls, Flung with Phoenix, things like that. Uh, unfortunately, this hand really doesn't do much of anything. We don't, we're far away from Delirium for Traverse. These two creatures are bad in our hand. We have no way to get them in the graveyard, so let's uh, mulligan this one. And this hand is much better. We need to draw a land pretty quickly, but if we do, we have carry added for a third mana. We have salvage to then enable the, the soul flare, and we should be good from there. So on six, I'll definitely keep. I need a land, not a mana creature, Moto. I know it's easy to get those confused, but, you know, come on. Should be smarter than that. You know, I, I think Magic Online is smarter than that. They know. They're just teasing me there. Okay. Opponent kept seven. Definitely need to hit a land here, otherwise we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Uh, and hopefully a black land, black producing land. Oh no, please don't thought seize us. Oh uh, no. Well, I assume they take the carry added here. I would love it if they took Flame Wake Phoenix. Salvage! Wow. Surpri I, I mean, I have to assume they have another Inquisition, right? Because if they had Thoughtseize, they would probably take Carry Added and then take Soul Flare. But if they have another Inquisition, they say they think like, yeah, I can just take both Salvages and then make this Soul Flare bad. I think that's their plan. I'm, I can't do anything to stop it. If I had drawn a black land, I, I would have considered holding up the Salvage. But I drew a Stomping Ground. So if they take our Salvage, we just got to hard cast a Flaming Phoenix and start attacking, which isn't the worst. Looks like our opponent is Grixis at Death Shadow. Yep, another Inquisition, just what I suspected. Uh, so I can cast Soul Flayer here, but it's just a 4 mana 4-4, four four, so I don't see the point. Uh, so I'm just going to cast Flame Wake Phoenix and let that be. I guess I could have cast it second main if I didn't want to attack, but I usually just like getting chip shot damage in against Shadow, even if it makes their shadows better. One of the ways that you can beat the stack is by them getting a little bit too cavalier with their life total. And look, nothing. And that is actually a very good draw um, if we can hit some creatures we want to delve away. So leave up both black mana for the Soul Flare. We hit Zatalpa, which is excellent. So discard those two. Um, I don't really fear any sort of counter spell. But let's make sure we get that one. The ooh. definitely one salvage and probably just the land. So now we'll have all the abilities as a Talpa on our Soul Flayer, which is Flying, Double Strike, Indestructible, Trample, and Vigilance. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't really see how they deal with that when I have um, when I have multiple other creatures for a potential Liliana of the Veil. And one with Hexproof, too, so... This Flame Wake Phoenix keeps coming back. Yeah, they just have nothing. Um, sure, I'll just go to combat. Pay this a red. Opponent had a pretty good start here. Just didn't really follow it up with anything. And the, the Faithless Looting was an excellent draw. So this will deal them 10. They might, I guess they were stuck at exactly 13. So they couldn't cast Death Shadows. That's probably where they are right now. But now they're, the Death Shadows is going to be too far behind, even when they cast it as a 10-10. Um, I guess I should have cast Looting first, in case of a Stubborn Denial. But 
Uh-oh, I'm still going to cast it now. Uh, is there any way we get to a point where we have to cast those? Um, probably not. Play this land, and I imagine we'll get a concession here. Two mana for a 4-4 flying double strike vigilance trample indestructible. It's a pretty good rate. Granted, I, I paid 3 for it. I felt generous, but... Okay, so what do we want? I definitely like Lightning Axe in this matchup, Enabler and Interaction. Uh, the question is, do I like Abrupt Decay as well? It does not deal with the Delve Threats, but it does deal with Death Shadow. Which is pretty good. I definitely don't like Gore Clan Rampager. This is not the matchup for that. Um, I feel like I can probably cut some number of these big things. And Chromanticore is probably the worst one. Zatalpa is definitely the best one. Um, Reaver gives flying double strike lifelink. This gives flying first strike lifelink, then vigilance and trample. Trample is not too relevant because they're not going to have any blockers in the air. So I don't think trample is relevant at all. Whereas, so it's the difference between double strike and first strike and vigilance. Vigilance could be relevant. Also, I guess this one is more castable. Yeah, we'll cut a Drog Skull Reaver. Do I want Abrupt Decay? Still thinking about that. I guess there are no Lingering Souls. I thought there were. It's just Flame Phoenix as a graveyard shenanigans. Um, hmm. I don't like Abrupt Decay. Like a big Death Shadow is one of the ways that they get us. We can sort of contend with the rest, right? Lot of Trolls pretty good. It's not good against Dismember. Man, none of our stuff is good against Dismember. We're gonna have to maybe be careful to get get some Hexproof in there. Otherwise, our Soul Flayers might just die. Ooh. Given that that's a possibility, and most Death Shadow lists have like multiple dismembers, I kind of like Decay more. I, mean, I can pitch them when they're bad to looting, too. Um, yeah, if I'm not going to be all in on Soul Flare, maybe I cut one more of those. One to Phoenix. There aren't a whole ton of ways to recur a Phoenix. It's like Soul Flayers traverses Lot with Trolls. Like salvage helps to you, salvage and looting. I guess that's more than it seems like on paper. I'm just supposed to cut like a Bowman Courier. Oh no, we ran out of time. Well, let's hope I didn't run out of time. Okay, well I have Lightning Axe in my deck, so that's good. Uh, unfortunately, this hand is also bad. Again, we just like have no food for this Soul Flyer. We're just gonna Lightning Axe th or get this Lightning Axe discarded and then die to anything they have. Too many lands. Uh, this hand is pretty good with looting to help fix our draws. Hopefully, we can set up. We're gonna have land sorcery creature instant, so the Traverse can find a Soul Flyer, and we have at least Zatalpa to help us there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to want to get red, black, and green, black, I guess. Uh, either way, this is a keep. Don't think I need another land. We're going to be able to draw into those if we want them. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe my opponent is not Death Shadow. That's interesting. Uh, just like a Grixis control deck, I've seen some of those pop up. We're definitely going to discard the Zatalpa, and then, oh, well, I guess we'll discard Zatalpa and Drog Skull Reaver. Not the best of hits there, but 
what are you going to do? Could run afoul of graveyard hate here. We have a pretty graveyard centric hand. Um, and I can just pass because Grizzly Salvage is an instant. Probably just getting a tap shock land here. I don't think this deck is going to have a lot to do on my end step. Yeah, this could get hairy. If they have a counter, we don't really only have the one threat. Um, I'm just going to get a basic here. I don't really see the point in this matchup of hanging a bunch of life. My mana is fine. Really hope they counter this actually. Oh no, that's so many soul flares! I have so few left now. I only have the I can only traverse for one more. Oh jeez. Um Hmm. Hmm. Now that I know they're more controlling, I'm definitely going to want to bring in Thoughtseize. And all this removal I have in my deck is worse. So I've sideboarded pretty poorly because I misjudged the matchup. Um, regardless, how do I sequence from here? Hmm. I'm worried about Cryptic Command next turn. But I'm also just worried about like Remand. Remand is very good. The way my draw is set up. Um... I want to get this Traverse out of the way while I still have Delirium. I've got Soul Flare here. Just the Zatalpa and land an instant in one of these other Soul Flares, I guess. Did I not? Oh. These didn't register. Sure. So still four card types. If I need them. Mana leak. That is also good. Yeah, I really wish I had thought season my deck. Ooh, no, this is an opt. Thoughts scatter. Yep, that shock is telling. Either Snapcaster or Cryptic. Yeah, Thoughtseize. That would also be really bad. I just wanted to be mana efficient with the Traverse. Also, the Traverse loses to Inquisition, whereas now my hand is set up against Inquisition. Okay, Tassiger. Liliana. Well, Liliana is also very good. Because um, now I can't. Huh? Now my Soul Flare is going to die. So let's hope to draw a Sylvan Carry added. Nope. And let's flashback Faithless Looting then. Gonna have to f okay, there's a Bomac Courier. That's some oh, there's a Decay. That's even better. Okay, um, so now I can discard two lands. Play this fetch and pass the turn and pitch the courier to the Liliana. 
And then even if they have inquisition for my abrupt decay, uh, Bowmat Courier can give the Soul Flayer haste. I still can't really beat a counter spell. Discard Bowmat Courier. They discard another Liliana. That's actually excellent. So as long as this last card in their hand is not a counter spell, I should be in fine shape. Let's get a Blood Crypt. Um, to play around another Mana Leak, I guess I should play this fetch. And... Let's go Drog Skull Reaver, Bomat Courier, Zatalpa, and is there anything else I want? No. So let's just exile a land. Last card was the Cryptic. Can't do much about that. Um, Okay, uh, I will just pass the turn then, and when they go to uh, plus this Liliana, I will decay it in response. But I'm pretty dead if they just animate Tar Pit and 7 me. I don't have any Soul Flayers left. Uh, I guess Lot with Troll would be okay, but I would need to top deck it if I'm looting into it. No, they like their card in hand, that's also a bad sign. <laughs> that is a bit of a tilt. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they counter that. Yeah. Don't think I had any outs there, but what are you going to do? Okay, so my opponent is Grixis Control, not Death Shadow. So let's get these removal spells out of my deck. Uh, Decay is good at dealing with Liliana. So maybe I still want Decay, but that's really all it does. I, I think Thoughtseize is pretty important. Liliana I can deal with with just other creatures. Flamewake Phoenix, Sylvan Carry Added, Bowman Carry are all good against Liliana. Um... I can't. Am I going to cut that much further into my main game plan? I think Phoenix is great in this matchup. Um, yeah, Rampage are definitely bad. Trimming some of these big creatures also a good idea. I probably want Bomat Courier to be honest. It can be a source of card advantage, and I want cheap creatures to protect against Liliana. Maybe I'm just supposed to cut. I mean, lifelink, it shouldn't be that important in this matchup, so maybe I'm just supposed to cut down a lot on those. And get, exiling a carry added to Soul Flayer is going to be even more important. So, yeah. We'll just cut down on the Soul Flayer plan in a matchup that is pretty good at interacting with it. Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, pretty good hand, all things considered. Um... We can go turn 2 carry added, turn 3 salvage into a potential soul flare if they're not careful. The carry added insulates us from Liliana, which is excellent. And now our opponents turn to Mulligan, also excellent. They even the score on Mulligans. I took one in each of the first two games, they take two in the third game. Just how I like it. See how they scry here. This will be good because if they stop if they stymie on development, they're not gonna have the luxury of playing reactively, just playing Drago, especially if they scry to the bottom. And that, that will aid our sequencing a lot. Well, if they take our carry added, then 
We're in a much more interesting spot. New discard spell. Excellent. Well, drawing Zatalpo is about the last thing I wanted. Because I don't have any way to get it into the graveyard right now. So I kind of want to salvage into a Lotworth troll. I could discard the Phoenix, discard the Zatalpa, get two counters on the troll, recur the Phoenix, attack for a million. Hmm. That is an interesting one, too. Um, given that they've shown me Mana Leak, I really don't want to give them an opportunity to use their mana on their turn. So what I think I'm going to do is just pass and salvage twice on their end step. Um, see if I can force them to tap out on their turn, and then set up from there. So let's play it slow. If they like tap out for a Liliana, that could be very bad for them. And no land, okay. I will play Grizzly Salvage. Okay, uh, Bomac Courier seems like the best of these because you can get the Phoenix and Zatalpa in my graveyard. I also want a carry added in the yard for Soul Flare. And crack this. Um, am I about to get Shadow of Doubted? Surgical Extraction on Drog Skull Captain. Drog Skull Reaver. That is fine. I only have one left in my deck. That's. They're just down another card. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'm just going to get the Overground Tomb. My left total is in a pretty good spot. I want to have good mana. Wow, complete bricks on that one. I guess I get a stomping ground. So not very good on the salvages here. Uh, I only have a carry added for creatures. I did hit a looting for extra value. Um, and I wonder if I want to just flash that one back rather than cast this one when they still have their mana up here. Yeah. I think we're going to play a bit of a longer game here. Ooh, into Thought Seas. Um, I'm actually going to save that Thought Seas. Let's uh, discard Phoenix and Zatalpa, cards I want in the graveyard. Um, play this Bomat Courier. I'm going to play this Stomping Ground Tapped. I want to save this Thought Seas to. Uh, poke a hole through for the troll. What is happening? Are they going to play a Snapcaster? Oh, I see what their goal is. Um, well, that would be a really sweet bluff if they did it. I don't want to trade Bomat Courier for Snapcaster Mage, so uh, I'm not actually not going to attack. And I assume they're going to take Flame Wake Phoenix. So that's pretty cool. Maybe they, maybe they, okay, they went for Zatalpa. So my Soul Flayers are pretty poor at this point. But I, I don't have any, so I don't think that's actually that big of a deal. I think my plan here is to get big with this Watliff Troll. Wow, they get aggressive. Sure, I'll take two. I can eventually contain that with Sylvan Carry added. Just nice, just fine. Let's uh, start this one out with the Thought Seize. Uh, 
So they don't have red mana. They do have another snap to trade for this Bomek Courier, but they have Spell Snare that counters Lotless Troll. And that is the card I want to resolve. So let's take the Spell Snare. Keep their hand there. Uh, I'm going to hold this land. The question is if I want a looting now or uh, looting next turn. I think I'd rather just wait. See if I have more things to discard. This carry added is probably going to get discarded to troll. Um, and I think I am actually okay attacking with the courier. If they want to trade it for a snap, that's fine by me. Yeah, I don't th didn't think they did, so we'll get a card under that. Yeah, now I'd rather just li I leave the man up for this too. Because I think I might. I w would I be willing to pitch all these for one card? I'm not sure. Okay, so there's a third lance, and I can snap the spell snare, which is kind of cool. This does not seem like a good attack. I know the four cards in their hand. They don't have red mana. Well, not sure if they've read a lot with Troll before, but. They're definitely going to read it now. Let's regenerate. They have thrown away their Snapcaster Mage. Okay, another Bomek Courier. We could be generating some card advantage now. Uh, let's get this looting. Discard two lands. I do have four card types, so that's cool. Um, hmm. So I want to just traverse for a soul flare and play it. But then if I want to bring back the phoenix, I'd have to tap out, which I don't want to do in case they draw red, because I want to keep this troll around. Um, I could just exile the Phoenix to Soul Flare and just make a 4-4 Flying Haste Hexproof. That seems really good, actually. Like, I don't need the extra, the extra body. I think just having haste on that flyer, uh, against what their hand is, is excellent. So, yeah, let's traverse. I guess I could get haste by just discarding Courier to Troll. And then still have Phoenix and return Phoenix next turn. Maybe that's better. Yeah, that does seem better. Uh, discard. I'll just wait a turn to get back the Phoenix. That's fine. Just hold up this carry added, which can be black for troll or red for courier. One. Uh, two. And I guess some lands. Um, I will decline, and I won't attack with Courier, no, because I'd rather guarantee get the two cards out of it at some point without having to tap this mana. If they snapped in to try to block Troll to tap me down, I could just discard the carry added, so that's fine. I'll just take seven. That extra point from the troll, so it gets them within a two-turn clock range of this Soul Flare. Okay, and now I think they're just dead, because that land enter tapped. So they, the only thing they can do is cast Snapcaster Mage here, and all the Snapcaster does is prevent one damage, and I'm attacking for ten because the Phoenix. More if I do other things. So, they are indeed dead. Excellent. Wish you with everything. So no red mana from our opponent there. A bit of an awkward draw. Drawing Island Swamp, Dark Six Shores, Watery Grave. But, you know, sometimes that's how it goes.
Ooh, this doesn't fly. Yeah, I forgot because I discard. I yeah, I, I got it in my head that I was exiling this, so they can. Uh, but I've I've drawn two creatures. Okay, I should have. I guess if this was a non-creature, I should have cast looting pre-combat, but it was so. Um, discard and discard. So a little lucky there, as I became unaware. But I mean, they were going to be in a spot here where they have to keep casting cryptic commands to stay alive, so I feel pretty good about my position regardless. Well, this trolls is a good threat against them. Whew. That uh, that thought sees, however, was actually quite good. Getting the spell snare out of the way so we could resolve that wall with troll, because that troll did a lot uh, in terms of just setting up our draw and being a, a powerful threat. So. The being able to recognize the matchup after game two, side appropriately for game three, coupled with a weak draw from our opponent, carries the day. Cool deck. We got to play some soul flares. We got to also play a little bit less like a combo deck and a bit more like a mid-range deck when they disrupted the combo with surgical. And you saw like I mean it, it's sort of hard if you take the cards that make Soul Flare really overpowered, it's not like I can't not cast it. And I still got to play a two mana four four hexproof haste creature against a control deck. I mean that's that's a solid threat still. So they're spending resources to downgrade Soul Flare from near unbeatable to very good. So and when they're spending full cards to only make that uh, to make that difference in how good your cards are, they're going to have a hard time winning, especially on a multi five. So hope you enjoyed watching that one. A really sweet deck, and you can come back and see me on Monday. Bye.